Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda and Kelly with Pear Blossom Press. Today we're showing you how to make Christmas crackers using the new animal box die from Linda Canassi. We're participating in the Get Kids Crafty December blog hop, so today Kelly's going to be doing most of the work. This new die is a steel rule die, not the wafer dies that we see so often. Uh, you can cut through thicker layers of ma uh, materials or more layers of cardstock at a time. It has all the parts you need to make multiple animals, but today Kelly's going to be showing you how to make a unicorn. These boxes are really easy to assemble, and with just a few extra steps, you can turn them into Christmas crackers for your holiday table, which are a lot of fun. Um, I usually buy some at the store, but this year we wanted to make our own. To start out, you're going to cut a pair of the larger box pieces. And you can cut them from any papers that you want. Since it's a unicorn, she wanted to use white cardstock for the body. And then we'll cut out the facial features. For the nose, we cut a piece of pattern paper and then just trimmed it out along the score lines. Cut a unicorn horn. We cut four ears, two from white cardstock and two more from the yellow cardstock. And then just trimmed them down a little bit so they would be the inner ears. Kelly wanted to add a small yellow tip to the nose and she decided on the winking eyes, which are really cute. While your box is still flat and unassembled, you can add details like um, shading and highlights. In this case, Kelly's going to add some rosy cheeks with worn, uh, worn lipstick distress ink. She's using a real light touch here to give them some soft color. Then it's time to start gluing the features in place. We're using PVA glue in a fine liner bottle. I like the control you get using this applicator. And I like this glue. It dries clear and matte in case you go over the edge a little bit. Anything seeps out, you won't see it. Also, I don't get any warping with this glue um, as long as I use thin layers. Kelly's going to glue the other features in place. This die set's really neat. You've got uh, a lot of mix and ma match options uh, for the eyes, the ears, the noses, so you can make a lot of different animals. Right now she's working on the box while it's flat and it's not glued together so she's just going to lay down the more flat pieces. She's not going to put the horn on until the end because it would be really hard to work with. After she gets the ears in place You'll notice that we pull out a pine sprig. That's just another die from my stash. Um, we did use a, a few other embellishment dies from my stash. Uh, we cut the, the pine out of green paper and then use a darker green marker just to give a little shading in there. And you saw Kelly using the stylus there to curl it up just a little bit just to keep it from not being so flat. And she's only applying glue up towards the top. And she's fluffing them back up a little bit more. Before we assemble the box, we're going to need to punch holes at the top and add our ribbon pull cords. At this point, the cardstock and all the pattern paper layers are pretty heavy here, so Kelly was struggling. I stepped in and helped her punch that out a little bit there. Now 
Now she can add the ribbon pull cords. They're actually very important to the mechanism of the cracker. We're going to need to be able to pull the front and back of the box straight out to activate the snap strip when we put that inside. So she's giving the ribbons a double knot. And then once she's got those knotted up really good, we reinforce it with just a little bit of scotch tape. We want to make sure that those ribbons don't pull through. We want them to stay attached to the, to the inside of the box. Now it's time to fold up the box and start gluing it together. The side tabs need a good crisp fold. So Kelly's using a bone folder for those. And then she's going to give the other score lines just gentle folds. She's going to start by adding glue to the side tabs. And you want to make sure that you get the glue all the way up to the top and along the outside edge there. That's really going to help hold the box together, make it look really nice. Do the same thing on the other side. And once that glue is set up, I'm going to fold the bottom of the box in. And you only need to add glue to the two bottom tabs. It is a little tricky to try to hold it in place and apply pressure. So if you squeeze it open, because you can't get your hand in there, Kelly's using a bone folder. And then if you have any uneven edges, you just trim them up and your box is ready to fill. Inside a cracker, you're normally gonna find candy, a uh, little tiny toy, paper crown, and uh, usually there's a joke or a riddle that goes inside but any small treats you want to include are fine. Okay, now it's time for the magic. These are called Cracker Snaps. I found them on Etsy and they had really fast shipping, so if you want to order these and make them for Christmas, you still have time. Um, before you glue any of your boxes, you're going to want to test one and see how far you have to pull before it pops. If there's a lot of give, you're going to want to pull some of the slack out before you trim it uh, to fit inside your box. And then you see I'm adding glue to the front left side and the back right side of the snap. And then I just squeeze it in place. And I want to make sure that those are glued really tightly down, so I'm using clothespins to hold. And the box is almost done. She's just adding the finishing touches here. So you see Kelly's adding the unicorn horn. We curled up the paper a little bit. And then there's a tab for gluing, uh, for gluing the side together and forming the cone. It takes a little bit of playing with it. And then we realize that a sharpened pencil is the perfect tool to help apply pressure from the inside. There's four little tabs on the bottom that fold in and those are perfect for gluing your horn in place. Once you've got the horn in place, Kelly's just going to tie up the ribbon pull strips into a bow so that it looks really cute. And she's going to add a couple little berries. And the third berry she adds with a little piece of foam tape, just so it's got a little more dimension there. And then the very last thing is a pair of glasses, which is actually three pieces of black cardstock that we cut and glued together, so it'd be nice and firm and not floppy glasses. And that's it. The box is pretty much done. All right, guys, you want to see how these crackers work? I'm tired. Give them a yank. 
And for those of you wondering if a gift card will fit into the boxes, the answer is yes. There you go. Here are some close-ups of a few of the other crackers we made. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and click on the bell so you don't miss any of our crafty adventures. Also, don't forget to check out all of the other fun projects in today's Get Kids Crafty blog hop. You'll find links on our site. Thanks for watching!